Well, hey gang, this is Alex. I got this box while we were in the hospital, actually, from Bosnian Bill. His name would be there if I hadn't blocked it out. Um, this was part of the uh, continuing saga of the Master Lock um, series. Um, in one of Bill's videos, he showed a really nice Master Lock that picked open very easily. Um, so I said, well, why don't you repin it? You know, and see if investing a few extra, a few extra dollars, maybe if they had invested a few extra dollars in the lock, um, maybe it would have, uh, maybe they could improve the security. Here's the lock. Um, looks like it's a model 930. Um, so it's uh, it's got a boron shackle. It's got a solid steel body. Uh, I'd say it's. Pretty decent um, construction. It's pretty heavy. Um, let's see if I've got something I can attempt to scratch it with. But I mean, you know, a lot of the bigger master locks are pretty, um, pretty strong. It's pretty much resisting this carbon, or this uh, pick carbon steel. It's, it's um, swaging the surface a little bit, but nothing special. And, you know, can't even scratch the chrome there this knife, let's see, yeah, barely makes a mark in it, so, um, you know, I'd say it's a pretty solid lock, I'm sure you could drill through it if you wanted to, but, you know, it's got a nice thick shackle, so, um, standard, looks like a standard M1 keyway on there, now, I don't, Bill gave me some hints as to what he did, but I don't know exactly, um, he did not, uh, I think he did not countermill any of the uh, chambers or anything like that. Um, you know, just I think he largely changed the changed around the pins and maybe did a few evil things in there. So uh, first of all, let's make sure it works with this key. It has kind of a nasty bidding on it, um, so that maybe maybe a little bit of a challenge. I don't know if I'll get this on the first go, so. It does work with the key. It is not key retaining. There we go. That's a much better fit. So we'll come back in with our gem. Just looking for binding pins. Of course, if they're serrated, we may get multiple clicks on them. feedback from this thing. He's whatever he's done, he's deadened it pretty effectively. Unfortunately at this angle you're probably not able to see very much. I think I just got a little bit of rotation there. Now really I should be attempting to rake it, but there it is, open picked. So that was about a minute once I got the tools I wanted. So it wasn't too bad. Um, I'd say a hell of a lot easier than most master locks typically are. Um, so there it is locked up. Um, let's see if we can rake it open. About raking with a diamond, which is sort of the original, the original rake. Just felt a little set there. I'm not SPPing it. I'm just kind of running this back and forth. I am. I think any time you rake, regardless of what tool you're using, you should be paying attention to the to the, uh, the feedback that you're getting, as it'll give you an idea of whether you've potentially overset something or whether there's an area that's binding more that you want to give a little more love into. Um, but there it is, raked open. So unfortunately, it's got this thing. Let's see what's going on inside. Unfortunately, it looks like either due to the tolerances or whatever, and perhaps Bill didn't want to uh, go overboard with, you know, uh, increasing the manufacturing cost of this thing. We did make it certainly more resistant to, to raking and, and SPPing, um, but uh, certainly didn't make it, um, you know, equivalent to an ABIS or even a, the older Americans. Okay, so that's the guts of this thing. I'd still say this is better than it was before, um, but uh, 
you know, not, uh, not quite uh, high security, and certainly not as high security as the rest of this thing. It does look like we should have been able to bypass it. Looking inside here, it's got the the standard uh, non-key retaining vulnerability where the cam is uh, or the actuator. I can't see shit in here, but um, is that better? There. Yeah, you can see it in there. So the actual we should be able to actually bypass it without. Um, with the tool. I think I just wasn't going the right way with it. Um, but yeah, it should be bypassable. Now the other thing to note is that the tolerance and the tolerances in this are pretty wobbly. Um, I have uh, zeroed the my, the uh, caliper. You can see that um, on the the, uh, the the broad side of the the plug, which is about forty thousandths of an inch. Um, let's go back to zero. Yeah, about forty thousandths. I'm sorry, forty hundred four hundred thousandths. Sorry. Um, if we measure the same point in the plug, I can get this straight. We're at somewhere between five and seven, seven uh, thousandths, somewhere in that range, or for the metric folks, you know, point, we'll call it point one five, one seven, one eight mil. Um, you know, in comparison, um, Typical, even a Yale, like sort of lower end Yale cylinder, three, maybe four thousandths. And if you figure that that's over a much, a sig much more significant diameter, um, you know, a, a 20 percent more diameter, that's quite a, quite a lot less play than you've got in this thing. Um, so, um, you know, and the, it is a little flattened on the top, and there's a little bit of flattening on the top of the where the pins are, so um, in the, where they meet the Bible, so that the gap, if you think about the gap where the, where the shear line is, is going to be quite a lot larger, right? Which gives us a lot more room to, um, to manipulate these things. And I think the differs on master locks are 20 thousandths, um, whatever that is in millimeters. Um, it's four, oh, whatever, four tenths or something like that. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that pretty much, you know, if you've got close to ten thousandths of an inch in there, your, you know, your differs are only really half what they should be. So, kind of crappy. Um, again, you know, manufacturing tolerances, uh, you probably saved a few cents making this little thing and, uh, you know, drilling it instead of reaming it or just making everything a little bit sloppier so that it would fit together more, more easily, um, and uh, you know, with less work. So that's what you get. You get what you pay for, guys. So anyhow, uh, I'm gonna put this all back together. Maybe try the bypass technique, and uh, you know, slap the video together and see what we got. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this is. Uh, the continuing saga of improving um, what is otherwise a pretty nice lock by uh, Master Lock, um, undoubtedly made in China or Mexico or something like that. But uh, you know, not a not a bad lock overall um, if it had a decent core in it. So thanks for watching, um, and as always, have fun and please keep it legal. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Cheers.